Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how much income from sales did my small blog produce. I'm going to show you the traffic. I'm going to show you the sales. I'm going to show you how many visits it received, uh, etc. And this is a very, very small blog. First of all, before we begin, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you're not new, then you kind of know what to expect here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the results. Um, this is relatively a brand new ch uh, uh, blog. And um, if you haven't seen my past videos, uh, you know the history or you don't know the history behind this blog. So I'll kind of quickly explain just for 30 seconds. This blog um, originally had virtual assistants running it. Uh, and then I started this YouTube channel where I'm teaching how to start a blog and how to make money doing it. I have over 40 current blog websites that produce an income every month. Some are small, some are big. You know, they all change. Um, just depends on how much effort I want to put into it. One of my last videos was me showing the income from a smaller to medium-sized site. A little bit smaller than medium for sure. Um, and I, per I showed some of the income from that. I will not be showing in today's video the AdSense money because to me the AdSense money is pennies compared to what we actually make. So just put that into consideration. The AdSense maybe makes up across all uh, of the business like blog stuff maybe, maybe like 4% of the income. So it's relatively like nothing. Not specifically on this website but on all websites across the board. So keep that in mind. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So, this is the blog. Uh, I decided to document some stuff, uh, you know, get rid of the virtual assistants because they weren't doing a good job on this specific site. Um, one of the, the virtual assistants was actually starting to do really well, but uh, basically he just couldn't keep up with the work. And that was really it, so I had to let him go. Uh, so, now I'm going to show you kind of the back end. Uh, before I do, uh, we are using Rocket Web Builder. For those who don't know, I own Rocket Web Builder. It's uh, the place where I hold all of my blog posts, all of my blogs. This is a software that allows you to blog, create an e-commerce store, a membership website, everything. I know it's not too fancy on the home screen, and that's my fault. I do have to fix that, and I will work on that. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description to Rocket Web Builder if you want to try it out. Now let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of the video. So this is the back end to the blog. Okay, so it's a drag and drop web builder. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the traffic. All right, so let's go ahead and go to pages here. Or excuse me, let's go to dashboard. And I'll show you kind of the web page. So we have a little bit of traffic here. Um, let's go instead of hourly to daily. Okay, this shows the last seven days of traffic. So the 13th was yesterday, and we have 96 visits and 72 sessions. 12th was 27 visits, 16 sessions. The day before was 84 page views and uh, 28 sessions. The day before that, which was the 10th, was 57 page views, 53 sessions. The day before that was the 9th, 31 page views, 15 sessions. And the day before that, 21 page views, 10 sessions. The day before that, 50, uh, 62 page views, 54 sessions. If I show you the month of June, we have from the 1st to the um, 13th. And let's hit filter on that. And you can kind of see how our traffic just goes up and down, up and down. And uh, our Google Search Console does pretty much identically the same thing. Not all of our traffic comes from Google. I think like maybe, I don't know, 80% comes from Google. There's a lot of people who save our website to their bookmarks, who come back, newsletter, etc. So you kind of get the concept of what's going on here. Let me go ahead and show you now the sales. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click store and boom, you can kind of see how it looks. Um, on the 9th, we had nothing. 8th, we had nothing. 7th, we had nothing in terms of sales. Uh, by the way, for those who don't know, we sell a two ebooks, so $9.99 for each. And these are just regular ebooks, nothing fancy. And um, you can see here, I'm not going to click on the orders because I don't want to show the people's emails who bought. Um, I think that would be, you know, against uh, just how the internet works. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Um, but you could see here, on the 10th, there were four total orders. So this blue little icon 
over here is the orders and the red is the sales um, or pink or whatever color you want to come you know call that the sale amount you could see here uh, the average order value is 1142 we'll I'll, I'll explain why but here this was four different people who bought different ebooks right so four people 3996. The next day, it was one order with 1998, which means one person bought two ebooks. So both are different ebooks, bought two of them. Um, that's why the average order value went up pretty dramatically. And then here we have one sale that went through, and then another sale that went through. So that was it. And uh, seven total sales or orders. Um, I guess you could say in a seven day period, right? Uh, the last few days really went out well. The 10th was the best day, obviously, with four orders. Pretty, pretty good by four different people. Pretty epic. And, uh, yeah, that's what it comes down to, guys. So this is a small site. We can actually see, like I said, in comparison, um, the last seven days. Let's go ahead and go to our traffic. And the way to do that is we click Dashboard. And let's see here our last seven days of traffic, uh, which was from the 13th to the, let's see here, one, two, three, oh, here, all right, the sixth. Let's hit filter. And you could see 417 page visits, page views, and 276 sessions. So effectively, 276 people came to the site, clicked around more than once because the page views are a little bit higher, and uh, that equated to the amount of income we brought in, which is, let's see here, uh, seventy nine ninety two, uh, not too bad for, um, you know, a brand new, pretty much brand new site that hasn't really have any domain authority whatsoever. Let's go ahead and actually calculate this, and let's figure out what the uh, payment per viewer ratio is without including anything like AdSense or anything like that. So. If we had a total of 276 sessions, which people came to the site, divided by, I believe this is the formula, divided by $79.92, right? So that comes out to $3. That doesn't seem right. That would be, it's probably the other way. So it's probably $79.92 divided by 276. Yep, that comes out to 28 or 29 cents roughly. So effectively, if we take that 29 cents and we multiply that by 276 people, we should get somewhere close to $79. So, yep, we do. So roughly in terms of our website, our website is value per viewer right now is valued just off these sales at 28 cents and a half per reader or per clicker. Like somebody who visits my website, I'm pretty gonna pretty much gonna make 28 cents. These are off of the statistics, right? Off of the data. It could change from week to week. The website is relatively new. Um, Google's testing things. It hasn't existed for a long time. It, excuse me. It has existed for a long time. I just never worked on it. Um, I only got it working the past few months here, and now it's starting to ramp up. So, you know, it's not big by any means. You could see here, it's not big. Um, but when you create a site, a small site like this, you build it up a little bit. I, I would expect, I would want this site to be at least 10 times bigger. Uh, I don't have a certain, you know, time frame of when it has to be a certain size. Um, but I would say it will be a decent income generating machine once it's about 10 times bigger. Because then I won't have to really work on it at all. And uh, as you guys know, I'm doing some videos on it showing how things are done. But I do a lot of work behind the scenes as well. Uh, maybe I'll create like something on my website where you guys can see the behind the scenes work. Maybe I'll charge for it. Who knows? Uh, put it behind a paywall. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think that definitely blogging is a skill that can produce a very, very significant income if you have the time to do it. And I don't think if you're a blogger for the first time that you should hire somebody to write your articles for you. I don't think that at all uh, for the first time. If you have a business that's thriving and making money, um, maybe you can kind of automate it and then give some time to blogging to kind of understand how it works. Then when you see some results, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with hiring somebody. Um, but uh, in the very beginning, when you haven't had 
any results, you need to make sure you know how to do it yourself. Then you hire somebody out. I know that's kind of like just the managerial type tasks and they're not fun all the times. Um, it's more fun to just, you know, click a button, have somebody write, write the articles for you and get the results. But it is very important to understand what it takes so that that person who writes the articles for you, you need to correct them. You need to tell them, fix this or do this or, you know, don't do this again or something like that. So the nice thing about Rocket Web Builder, and this is the Rocket Web Builder platform. Uh, I've shared this before, Rocket Web Builder right here. If you want to get started, just click templates uh, or excuse me, don't click templates. Uh, you can look at the templates, but click on right here. Get your 14 day free trial. No credit card. No um no payment required or anything. You can jump in, test it right away. Uh, and we actually have some templates because once you create the free trial, it will take you to a page that looks like this. And you have these two blogger templates if you want to go with the cheapest pricing plan to start. Uh, but regardless, my point here is, is that, um, yeah, give it a shot. It's just building over time. A lot of the times I look at my success with blogging and I say, man, I don't know, especially when it's a beginning beginner blog. I'm not 100% sure if I want to continue with this because I'm very um, scatterbrained, I guess you could say. Uh, and that happens. And sometimes I'm not 100% sure if I want to continue, but I force myself to and I just keep going. And then eventually I'm sure that I'll see the results. And I'm not always 100% confident, by the way. It's not, you know, you don't get to over 40 blogs producing income by being perfect. You know, there's a lot, a lot of failed sites in the meantime, like, it, you know, building up to that. Um, I might have 40 plus sites that are making income, but I could have hundreds that I failed at. Not, and when I say failed, I want to be clear, it, it's what I quit at. Uh, because if you start something and you quit, that's literally the definition of failing. Uh, failing, making mistakes, that's not actually failing. Making mistakes is not failing, but quitting is failing. So uh, I figured this video helps out. Just put some perspective on the things you could do with your blog, with your business. Um, obviously, every blog is different. Every business is different. Not all blogs make the same amount of income. And if you generate the same amount of traffic, you could make a lot more or a lot less. It just depends on your business. So um, I just figured I'd show you guys this. Some of you may be curious. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.